when you, this is done? You know, in 2016, when President Buhari removed subsidy, there was no uprising, there was no protest. Unlike 2012. Or, unlike 2012, when Pre President Jonathan removed it and everyone went on the street. <laughs> so that was not fair. And I, I thought maybe we should reason with our leaders, give them the chance. And we gave the President Buhari the chance. <clears throat> He removed what we are told at that time is one night removal of fuel subsidy. And we also, okay, let's endure this pain once and for all. Let this subsidy be removed. 2016. So yes. it was removed and the fuel price from 86, it rose so to 145. And from that time, everything started going down. Inflation rose from 9%. To 19 percent unemployment from 13 percent to 23 percent and that's why the society like poverty workers ask that they should not remove it because it will increase inflation let me tell you that. The, yes. social, the social poverty welfare. start increasing after the time when we became the the world capital of poverty and become the worst country sixth worst country miserable country to, to live in and production start decline because companies are no longer making profit because they have to pay high fuel prices low investment started coming on unemployment insecurity soon we went on recession still the effect of this subsidy removal is still lingering in our economy and we have not yet fully recovered our growth is just around one two percent yes and where we, we are much higher we are just coming out from recession and now we thought that's all let's endure this once and for all pain but we just had this week that more subsidy to be removed yeah, but, but the government so, has come so, out this morning to so, say that there's no plans to remove so, uh, what, whatever subsidy. there's no plan to remove what what have you done in 2016 what did you remove that means there was no up total removal of full subsidy in the past but we, we were not told the truth and this is very glaring clear. When in 2016 you say you remove fuel subsidy and you pay the price 145, there's no regulation. The regulation is when you let the market, price yes. the price to float the according flood, to market, market, forces. market forces. But now you are pegging it. Even if PPPRA on their website, they removed the pricing template now, which means there is no transparency. So Nigerians will not know how much is the lending price, price and yes. how much is the freight, how much is the transportation gap, talk less of asking what is happening with our money so now they said they pay one billion naira every, every single day. day and that was when barrel was 40 dollar uh, 40 dollar per barrel yes and now the barrel is above 70 yes. the highest since 2013 and now which means you are now subsidizing you are not paying what they call under recovery under, under recovery, recovery yes, fund yes that's just subsidy that's something like under under recovery. So what they are paying before twenty five? Now they are, they are paying almost sixty or close to sixty naira per bar. Which means if we are spending one billion every single every day, day, now we are spending close to two billion. billion. And count it for how long will you be paying that? At whose cost? At whose cost? And yes. who knows how much we consume in a day? Do who has a figure? Who can verify that? And this can give room for corruption. If if Kachukus now say we have consumed sixty million, who will say no? Well, initially we, we didn't consume up to that much and there's no any mechanism to track this there's no transparency the president is so weak to even follow up to know what is happening how can we set mechanism where there's no transparency and now we are saying remove fuel subsidy just because imf said remove subsidy do you know the motive uh, 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 imf imf is just giving general approach they may not know the peculiarity of nigeria you cannot remove subsidy in nigeria without adequate and yeah. sufficient public transport system so that people will drop their car keep their cars at home, at home and yes, start yes. using public transport there should be unless you have electricity yeah, there should be palliatives exactly until you have electricity until you have very low is at least single figure inflation inflation rate yes and that's when you're able to provide these All basic amenities this, yes. and that's when you, even if you remove the poor subsidy it will be seamless people will not feel it but now we are exposing people. We didn't have shock observers. We just we are just so vulnerable and so disheartening after many years. We didn't have adequate refinery. And you cannot remove uh fuel subsidy without having adequate refining capacities. Yeah, yeah because we have local we have refineries in well, Nigeria. Well they're not working they are like not, refinery has not been not working refining. for over for over for over uh one year. It's not been working. And how much are they refining? It's even more expensive to refine in Nigeria than the, to the, import. The, 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 so, and and almost every ninety-two percent of our consumption, 
fuel consumption, 92%, is being imported. imported. So what the refiners are contributing, well, well, and now we are spending $50 million to, 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 to do overhaul maintenance well, of this refinery. Do we need an overhaul of this refiners? Because they are outdated. They are we just outdated. Need, we if need if Nangote as a single individual yes. can build a refinery, $650,000 per day, uh, uh, yes. what is government is doing? NNPC has been generating money. What is it doing? NNPC generated two trillion no, but naira in I, in 2018, and we spent almost 2.2 trillion importing uh, no, petroleum products. Let, let's even look at NNPC and Aramco.